Third time, culprits have damaged a Black Lives Matter sign at Elliott Unitarian Chapel. Our Robert Townsend is live tonight with why this isn't deterring church members. Robert. Mike and Ann, the vandals targeted this church's Black Lives Matter sign you see right there, right in the middle of the night. Again, this happened in the heart of downtown Kirkwood. I made the sign for Elliot. Six months ago, a proud Bob Becker made this huge Black Lives Matter sign for his church, Elliot Unitarian Chapel in Kirkwood. It's something that Elliot's felt strongly about just, you know, social justice. Since the death of Michael Brown in Ferguson nearly seven years ago, members of Elliott Unitarian have taken a stand against racism and police brutality. Every Tuesday night, church members held a vigil for hope and healing. So here you see a battered sign. This Tuesday night, the moms, dads, and their kids were back with their signs and to speak out against crimes against their church. I just think they're misguided. Becker's talking about the bold vandals who damaged the historic church's Black Lives Matter sign that sits on the front lawn. On May 7th, the culprits pushed over the sign. And then the next time they kicked a hole in it um, and tore the plastic. And early Monday, the culprits came back to the church that's across the street from the Kirkwood Farmers Market. And they literally just pushed and pushed and pushed till they broke it off its uh, the rack there that I made. It feels painful. Sure, the painful crimes on sacred grounds are disappointing, but they won't deter this church family. We want to witness that love always wins. You can destroy a sign, but you cannot destroy a movement. Pastor Gaten says surveillance cameras outside their church caught three suspected vandals on video damaging the sign early Monday. Now they gave that video to police. Detectives are now looking it over and you bet everyone here is hoping arrests are coming soon. Live in Kirkwood, Robert Townsend, five on your side.